this episode, we take a look at the Polar Pilot app and the proximity effect of the OC818. I have inserted the OCR8 dongle into the OC and paired my iPhone via Bluetooth with the microphone. If you do this for the first time, you need to enter the serial number of the dongle and press connect in the app. There is an automated process if you do this for the first time, which leads you through these steps. I start the Polar Pilot app. I can now change the polar patterns in 255 steps, blending from omnidirectional to figure 8 to cardioid and all the steps in between. On the other hand, I can have the microphone take over the control. I now switch the microphone to omnidirectional and you can see that the settings on the microphone will be displayed in the app. If I activate the high pass filter on the microphone for example, you can see this activity mirrored in the app. Plus you can hear how the sound gets thinner as I go along. Check one two, one two. 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 I go back to preset mode on the microphone and am ready to control the OC via app again. Next, I like to demonstrate how the proximity effect changes going from one polar pattern to the next. I start with figure 8 and we can hear how this polar pattern has a noticeable proximity effect. Actually the strongest proximity effect from all polar patterns. You can clearly hear how much energy we get in the bass frequencies. This is the proximity effect on figure 8, 1, 2, 1, 2. This is the proximity effect on super cardioid, 1, 2, 1, 2. This is the proximity effect on cardioid, check, 1, 2, 1, 2. And this is the proximity effect on omnidirectional, 1, 2, 1, 2. If I change to cardioid, we initially hear that the bass is fading away. There is still some proximity effect, but not nearly as much as in figure 8. By moving away from the microphone, the sound gets thinner. Going back towards the microphone, the proximity effect starts kicking back in. Often you can hear this effect, but it is rather unwanted and by accident. Knowing what you do, this can be a powerful tool if used intentionally. There's a very cool feature which has to do with overpowering the microphone, which i like to share with you next. I'll now try to overpower the microphone to distort it, so watch it, it's gonna get loud. Check! One, two, hey, check! The app is able to create a log when the incident happened and so you can track it back to the event in your scene in the theater or in your song and eventually react spontaneously by applying a pat on the app or on the microphone. To see when it happens, you simply have to press the question mark icon in the upper right corner and press lock and check the timestamp. The app is in many ways a very usable feature as you can change settings on the microphone remotely. In case you have it high above the drum set or the orchestra or as in my case inside an isolation box in front of a guitar speaker. I can at any time have access to important features on the microphone without even getting close to it thanks to the Polar Pilot which is by the way downloadable in the App Store for free.